Hi, I'm Adam Mortimer. I'm the Director of Marketing for MGE. And for this week's Tip of the Week, I want to talk about the top five ways to market your practice to get more new patients. This list isn't in any particular order. Some of these things work better for other practices than others, but these are generally going to be the top five. Now, before we get started, I just want to mention, here at MGE, we're not a website development company. We're not a postcard or mailing company. I'm not trying to sell you any kind of marketing product or service. What we do is we teach dentists and their teams how to implement management systems to improve efficiency and profitability and create growth. And obviously, a big part of that is having a real plan for marketing your office and getting more new patients on a consistent basis. And because we have thousands of clients all over the US and Canada, we get to look around the industry and get a really good idea of what's working and what's not working right now. All right, let's get into these top five. Can I get a drum roll? Number one, getting lots and lots of positive online reviews, particularly on Google and Yelp. Now, here's some stats for you. Estimated 97% of customers look at online reviews. And 85% of customers trust an online review as much as they do a personal recommendation from a friend. It's just what people do nowadays. What do I do if I'm looking for, uh, to go to a restaurant or looking for a dentist or a doctor or a furniture store? I go on Google or Google Maps and I search for one and I check out the online reviews before I go there. It's the way it is. So it is important. Now, there's another reason it's important. When you have a high number, a high volume of reviews and a good rating, this affects how high up your website is going to appear on Google and in Google Maps and other search engines. You've probably known another dentist down the street from you who, uh, you know, you looked and they had maybe five online reviews, not much. And then you look back about six months later and all of a sudden they have 500 reviews and they're at the top of the search list. You go, oh, how did that happen? How did they go up by 500 reviews in six months. Well, there are a few things, specific things you can do to get more online reviews, which I cover at the MGE New Patient Workshop and the MGE Internet Marketing Seminar, which I highly suggest you attend. But the one thing to take away from this is get lots and lots of positive online reviews and ask your patients to leave a review for you on Google and Yelp. And another interesting fact regarding this is that one of the most commonly searched phrases in Google when someone's looking for a dentist is best dentist in blank, fill in the blank, Los Angeles, New York, Tampa, whatever. And when Google is displaying the, the search results for the best dentist in that area, they actually take the online review rating into account. You'll see if you search best dentist in your area, you'll see the ones that are 4.7 stars, 4.8, 4.9, or even five stars, and the ones that have a lot of reviews. If you have three reviews, that's 4.9 stars. That's not as good as someone who has 500 reviews that are 4.7 stars. All right, can I get another drum roll? Number two, have an effective referral program for your existing patients. Now, I know how this goes. Everyone knows you should ask for referrals, but it kind of falls by the wayside. But it's really important because this is always going to be the cheapest form of marketing you do, and it's going to get you your best patients, patients who are referred by uh, other patients who are happy and, and loyal to your practice are that much more likely to stay in the practice and trust you and do the treatment that they need. So you and the whole team really need to prioritize referrals. And the way that you ask for the referrals makes a big difference. We cover some of the specifics of how to ask for referrals here at MGE. And also having an effective plan or program that the whole team is on board with and actually stays in as a priority instead of falling by the wayside and nobody really wants to ask the patient for the referral. So you need to make sure you implement it and you ask for referrals the right way. All right, can I get another drum roll? Number three, we're taking it back to the old school marketing with direct mail. And I know, it seems like something we should be doing 20 years ago, but let me tell you, it still works. We had a period in the early 2000s when it became all about email marketing. Email marketing was very effective, and if you had a big email list, you were a millionaire for a little while there in the 2000s. But what happened is people's inboxes became so flooded, they seen so many emails, so many online ads, that people are a little oversaturated to that degree, and they actually start to notice more the hard mail. Going back to the old-fashioned direct mail, whether it's postcards or some kind of a flyer or a brochure or even a letter in an envelope, that actually is getting picked up and noticed now, and I've seen a lot of very effective uh, direct mail market or postcard marketing campaigns in recent years. Of course, it can get expensive. 
uh, the, the design of the piece that you're sending out, where you're sending it to, how often you're sending it, how much you're paying per piece. All that stuff makes a difference, and you need to really track the results. But direct mail is still one of those top five ways to market your practice. Now, drum roll, please. Number four, online ads, specifically Google AdWords and Facebook ads. Google AdWords is another one that can be expensive if it's not done right. But if you do it right, you got the right settings for your ad campaign, and you're doing it efficiently, it can be very effective because, once again, where are people going to look for a dentist? They're going to Google. So you're going to get your practice right in front of someone when they're actively looking for a dentist. That's the best place to be. You just have to make sure you're cost efficient with it. And then there's Facebook ads. Now, when I talk about Facebook ads, I'm not talking about generally social media, being active on social media and posting stuff on Facebook and friends and tags and likes and hashtags. No, I'm talking about specifically paid advertisements using Facebook's advertising component. You can uh, target exactly who you want to see your ads, how many people you want to see your ads, how many times you want to see them, specifically what they're going to see and when they're going to see it, and you can get very targeted with these advertisements. And I've seen this be just as effective as Google AdWords if it's done right. The key here is with Facebook ads, you can reach 20,000 people in your area immediately surrounding your practice on a regular weekly basis throughout every month. And that just has a good effect when people are seeing your ads and clicking them and going to your website. So that's also in this top five. Now can I get another drum roll for the last one? Number five. Give your patients a fantastic experience and get them to accept and complete their treatment plans. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, it's not really marketing, is it? But think about this. Happy patients who are actually doing the treatment they need and getting the results that you're capable of giving them are going to bring in their friends and family. They're going to leave online reviews. They're going to talk about you. They're going to follow you on social media, and generally, you're going to have more word of mouth when your patients are happy and they're doing the treatment that they need and getting healthy. If your patients are coming in and getting a little bit of work here and there, doing single-tooth dentistry, uh, only doing what their insurance covers, they're not going to be that excited about bringing people into your office and talking about your office. That's just the way it is. And the same goes for the patient experience. You want to have fantastic customer service. You want them to want to come back to your practice so you keep these patients and bring their friends and family in. So that's very important for making it all work. And one last thing that I didn't include on the top five, but it is very important for making all of those other five work, is having an effective website. When I say that, I don't mean that it's necessarily an expensive website or a very fancy or beautiful website. I mean that it's designed in such a way and has the right content on there that it's effective at converting the visitor who goes onto the website into someone who's now picking up the phone and scheduling an appointment. So having an effective website kind of makes the whole thing work. You don't want to spend money and effort on all these other things to drive people to a website that doesn't make them want to pick up the phone, and it becomes wasted money. OK, so I've gone over those top five ways to market your practice. But as you can probably see, they can be m more effective or less effective depending on how you do them. So if you really want to be effective with them and get more new patients on a consistent basis, I highly suggest you come to the MGE New Patient Workshop. I'll be there and we'll teach you exactly how to do each of these points in detail so that you can make it work for your practice. We deliver this workshop in California, New York, and our Florida office. And you can find more information at www.newpatients.net or give us a call today at 800-640-1140. I hope to see you there, and if you like this tip, click the subscribe button to get more like it. Thanks for watching.